Welcome back guys to Replay Thursday episode 3 game 3 We have Zerg um, that submitted this replay one of my mods Ophidian um, I talked to him on Skype from time to time and we talked strategies um, He's very good and he submitted a replay and said I usually struggle with knowing what composition to make against the 3 base Protoss timing um, I usually go I typically go 50 pool 3 edge hand or play quite a bit with mutas or infestors and roach like Usually trying to be aggressive before I've, but in this case I scouted an all incoming, so I was trying to play defensive and delay I've to hold, but it didn't work out. Alright, Ophidian, thank you for summoning this replay. I'm not a Zerg expert, but <coughs> we'll give it our best because that's what we do here, best for fighting. Um, Alright, so he's scouting you to go for that 14 pool, but he says that typically he goes for 15. Um, kind of agree here, simply because um, you know on this map, um, on this map you can try to be aggressive with the lanes if you you see a late forge, which uh, is kind of the case. He's making it at 17 right now, so I don't know if you're so you're making six lanes. I like that, and also. Uh, because he's not doing a three building wall off you will be able to snipe up on on which is always super nice um, So yeah, I forgot to save the notes here for uh, or um, Your friend I was gonna say uh, Amy, which is French. What's the name of the last guy? Uh, it was voodoo oh, Crap Julian something like that. I love you, bro. <laughs> All right, so uh, whoa, 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 whoa the cameraman over here so see that's that's but no 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 oh but I I, I guess ah oh, but ah oh, but ah oh, bad micro Ophidian no so basically Ophidian was able to uh, did I unplug the mic again or something so I'm just gonna switch in one second okay so that was that was pretty good um, but yeah, I really like I really like the 14 pool for that. So really good uh, job on that, Ophidian. So now you're gonna be able to buy a lot of well, there's this odd, but you're gonna, well, you're gonna, oh, all right. So that was very good. You slow down his wall. You slow down his gases. So uh, basically, you're gonna be miles ahead uh, if you just uh, make drones properly and don't don't lose this. We're gonna put this on again. Um, I'm doing pretty well. The third was a late. Uh, I don't know if you could have made it sooner. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's macro. There's not much going on. Grabbing the gases. Um, I don't. Know, maybe the gases are a bit too early. Like you know, he's not gonna do a gateway pressure simply because uh, everything is so delayed uh, because of those links. So maybe this is too early me that's up to you to decide i mean you're master for a reason and you you cast it pro league and everything um but like you could have focused more on drones and have two extra drones because you would need to make those gases um yeah because you know like he's going for a robo it's not gonna get away timing um you don't need those uh, 750 roaches or that that gas this early uh, but yeah, I guess you kind of need it. But yeah, you see like all the gas you have. Yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah. I feel like you could have delayed those gases simply because it's not gonna be a getaway timing. Um, so I guess going double forge. Um, but there's not really a way for you to see that. You see that it's mining a lot of the gas. Um, trying to peek in to see if he's killing the rocks is a really big thing with your observer, uh, with your overlord. Because if he's killing the rocks, he's most likely uh, wants to grab a third and play three base. So uh, really poking in with your overlord would have told you. Well, you did see a pro, but really you didn't pay attention to it. Uh, in the meantime, you're making a lot of links to try to be aggressive, which is a fine move. Um, but, uh, I mean, let's see. Let's see how you do this. Oh, you should do... Oh, that was really good actually. Yeah, he took it a little bit greedy. Because he only went like four, four, well, you, yeah. Was the word investment? 
Yeah, you're at 74, Jones. You're doing just fine. So you're grabbing a fourth, which is fine. Uh, this is late. This is really late. Your, your, your macro is being sloppy. Uh, there's no queen for the macro hatch. Um, your, creep, your creep spread's pretty good. But really, uh, the the infester upgrade was late. Like that's the thing that I do is like you see like you have the evils on five, but uh, sometimes if I'm making a, a key building, I'll lock key it so I can uh, research while I'm doing something, and then I'll put the the evils back on five or something. Just to give you an idea because you were pushing and that, that I, I think that was idle. I don't know for how long. So you're getting borrow, you're getting melee, you're getting carapace, all sorts of good. Uh, so, so you see that he's making a lot of immortals. A uh, situation like this, you need an overlord or you need an overseer to poke in the main and see if he's adding a lot of gates, which he should, unless he just goes now and doesn't probe this uh, a lot. But he should be adding a lot of gates. If he's making immortals like that, then yeah, it is an all-in. Um, what 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 I've had some people do against me is uh, banelings with lings and some infestors. Uh, but you can just um, do ling roach, or actually, like a lot of roaches works too, because uh, just because zealots are pretty bad against roaches, and then you fungal on top of that, so the army doesn't do much. So that's an option you have for you. Uh, worker count way too high. Uh, if you would have stayed at 74 and just grabbed this base for the gases, I would have been fine with that. But 90 is just too much when your army is going to be too small. Then finish the rocks here, which could backfire uh, once he attacks. So you, you got to try to clean that up, in my opinion. Um, sending some changelings. But yeah, an overseer, like <clears throat> the moment you see like more than two immortals. Or more than three maybe or yeah I don't know like you see a lot of immortals with your overlord to me that's a timing attack that's not well you knew it was an all-in you said you tried to prepare but it didn't work um, so I guess we'll see so you knew but it's good to confirm in the main and if you if it's a char charge lot archon like I said I've had people do roach and fungal my uh, fungal my zots I mean this builds really good for this map because it's so like there's so many places like you can set up a flank here and here and like here potentially um, so it is a whole hard map to hold and he's kind of pushing late like people should push around like 14 this guy is gonna push at 15 uh, but yeah, you're like on lings versus like zealot archon and then you have like a couple spines and a couple infestors so yeah really make uh, make some got the now you're making roaches but you have so many lings so what I would do if I were you is I would know slings. I hate I, I hate stuff that takes forever to attack the rocks. It makes too much noise, but that's me. What I would do if I were you is I would take those links, try to run in, try to buy time, try to scare him, and uh, make more roaches, man. Make more roaches, and that's the issue too. Is like you make your spine all there, and then he he, he goes here, and then you have nothing. So um, how many larvas do you have? You have 26 larvas, but your bank is nothing. Um, because you had to spend on those spines. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be scary, man. It's gonna be scary. Alright, so those were good fungals. Those were very good fungals. Um, infested parents. More fungals to the left. More fungals to the left. Alright, that's some pretty good fungals. Uh, the, ma the, ma the larvas were spent pretty late. Uh, yeah, the larvas were spent really, really late. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, Infested Terrans versus Archons, uh, simply because it goes down pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, now it backfires that you didn't kill those rocks, you can back off. Yeah, man. And, uh,. I don't know, he didn't have that many, uh, he didn't have, well, I was gonna say you could have made lanes, but, I don't know, it's a, it's a tough call, it's definitely the hardest map to hold it on, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, 
I feel like known enough roaches and infested turns are another way to go. I'd read like I think like if you have fungal and you have roaches and the zots can't attack, but like your roaches are still gonna die from like Archon, uh, Archon and uh, Immortals. But at least you can like keep him in one place and then you can keep reinforcing. And uh, it took you a long time to reinforce. Like we, we're gonna go back just a little bit. Like it took you like I think you were at like 150 when you started. Like no, all right, let's go back a little bit more. Like. Maybe at 16. Alright, so look, look, look at your supply. Like you're down 40 supply, and then you're like, oh wait, I guess I should make some unit. Like no, 50 supply, and you're like, oh wait, I guess I should make some units. Like that, 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 that doesn't work like that, man. And uh, you could have made some infestors as well. Uh, you know, 10 infestors would have helped to fungal. But like I said, really not a big fan of infested Terran. So I think more roaches, more fungals, uh, maybe daily gases, but that's really up to you. Um, didn't need this, didn't need the spire. When, when you confirm that he's doing it all in like that, it's really hard to transition for a Protoss. So this, like, I mean, one spire is fine, two is kind of overkill. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully next time you'll be able to hold this audience. It's getting pretty popular. It's pretty hard to hold. I think more roaches, more fun goals. But uh, thank you a lot, Ophidian, for summoning this replay. I didn't take notes because it's not my race. I feel like it wouldn't be, it would be a little out of place. Uh, but thank you again. This was game three of episode three. Uh, thank you all for watching. After this, we'll have another uh, Master Zerg. Uh, and uh, it should be a pretty interesting game. So stay tuned.